Hi you guys, welcome to today's video. So it's another Jesse and Stu day. So we are doing another hair day. We have three shadowers today and six clients and it's gonna be really fun. We have a lot of blonde, a lot of extensions and um, we've been doing these hair vlogs for you guys but I wanna make sure that each of them has like a purpose and you guys are learning something. So for today, we are going to be kind of focusing on how we work with our co-stylists. So typically that's what you would call an assistant but we have decided at our salon to kind of like rebrand it and call it a co-stylist and we're gonna go into why we do that um, and we're gonna be just kind of talking about how we work with them what we have them do the structure the setup how we run everything and then we also are going to have a podcast all about this dropping around the same time of this video so I will put that in the description box below so you can listen to the podcast and watch this video at the same time Okay, so Stu and I just got to the salon and we are starting to game plan the day. So we have all of our shadowers written down and then all of our clients. We actually had a fourth shadower, but she just called this morning and she tested COVID positive. So that's really sad and she can't come. So she's gonna probably reschedule for another day. Um, but we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six clients today, three shadowers. And then we of course have our content board. Also sneak peek of something fun we're gonna be using today. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I am one of the uh, I'm one of the co-stylists here at uh, Hi guys, it's Kaylee. I'm one of the co-stylists here at Jay-Z and I help on Jesse and Sue's crazy hair days and shadow days and I help do the content. And so today we're gonna introduce you to all of our co-stylists here at Jay-Z that help on these days. No. Hey, my name is Piper. I'm one of the co-stylists here at Jay-Z and I've been here for a year and um, I love everything here but my favorite thing in working on these crazy days is making sure that all the clients feel like they're getting our full attention and not just being passed around and that they feel like they're gonna get the best result and that's my favorite thing. Hi, my name is Madeline. I have been a co-stylist here at Jay-Z Styles for two months now. Um, one of my favorite things about working here and assisting on these days is just being able to learn so much um, from Jesse and Stu. I've been doing hair for a few years, but um, you just learn so much more education, um, watching other people and seeing how they work, and that's been one of my favorite parts for sure. Hi, my name is McKenna. I have been a co-stylist here at Jay-Z for about three months. Um, one of my favorite things about these days is that you just each time you get to take something new and you learn something. Hi, I'm Kate. I've been a co-stylist here for about three months now. And my favorite thing about these days is um, it's just very fast paced. We keep a lot of people coming in and it's just a fun day. Co-assisting. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Megan. I've been a co-stylist here at Jay-Z for about a year now, so it's been super fun. Um, I would say one of my favorite things though is just being able to meet so many people in one day and just see all the crazy transformation. One of the first jobs of a co-stylist is to greet the client, drape them, get them a drink, figure out what they're wanting, and then take before videos and photos. <gasps> my ears are showing. I can't do that. They usually mix up for us as well as soon as we have talked to the client and confirmed what we are doing. So here Megan is mixing up. And then another job they have is to hand us foils and just kind of keep us organized, especially as Stu and I work together because when you're working with more than one person, it could be really easy to bump into each other. And so it's kind of their job to make sure we're efficient, hand us tools, foils, combs, the board, anything that we may need. We also have them foil with us sometimes or go through and add low lights. And then we also have them wash and then sometimes tone depending on how busy we are at that moment. But especially if a co-stylist has been with us for a while, we typically give them more responsibility as they've been with us. So basically they'll start off with like setting up, cleaning up, getting the client a drink, sweeping, blow drying, stuff like that. And then they will get more experience as they continue to assist or co-style. So 
here Megan is just mixing up again. That's a typical job of a co-stylist. They also prep our extensions. Sometimes they'll even bead half of the row with us. Megan's actually been a stylist for over five years and she is a full-time stylist here at Jay-Z as well. So she's really just extra hands to help us out on our busy days. But our co-stylist program does also consist of newer stylists who are recently graduated or just need more experience and they are really there to learn and help as well. A lot of the time when we're working, Stu and I will do the actual color, the toning, the extensions as much as we can, and then the assistants or the co-stylist will typically take the ending where it's the styling, the finishing photos, checking out, and things like that. Um, we will come over and just double check everything before the client has been fully styled so that if they want anything fixed, we can help them or we can give them a trim or a haircut after being blow dried, and then the co-stylist can take it from there. The reason that we have started calling our assistants co-stylists is because, um, you know, a lot of times clients will come in and they'll feel really confused about why an assistant's working on them. They get, you know, thinking that that means they're a student, they don't know what they're doing. And like I said, Megan, for example, has been a stylist longer than Stu even, and she has a lot of experience, but she did want to learn some fresh techniques, which is why she started out being an assistant. And now she is a full-time stylist, she's an educator. So we decided to start calling our assistants co-stylists because they do have to go through a training program and they have to shadow, they have to learn, and they build up more responsibility as they become better. So every co-stylist we work with is a stylist at our salon and is someone that we want our client to trust. Uh, we did a whole podcast about this, so I will link that in the description box below so you can listen to it. But I do think it's a really great way to help your clients feel better about having an assistant. So typically when Stu and I do a Stu and Jesse hair and shadow day, we will tag team the client like this. We typically have a routine where one of us starts the front, the other does the back, or one does one side, one does the other side. But if I was working alone with just another co-stylist or an assistant, I would usually um, do all of this and then they would be handing foils or helping mix color or you know just kind of doing things like that, maybe following me with a low light or a paint between or tipping out the ends. That's what we're having Piper do in the back and that's a really helpful thing to have and I would always explain to your clients that having a co-stylist is really helpful because you can get more people in, you can work faster, and you just have more people that are experienced working on them and it's always a good thing. So just make sure you're hiring co-stylists that you trust and have been trained and are friendly so that your clients enjoy their experience with them. Keep on driving and driving. 
We get a lot of questions about how we pay an assistant or a co-stylist and here in Utah we pay hourly so we just do an hourly rate. I typically do raises about every three months just depending on their performance and then we also have them go through the whole co-stylist program which is a seven page worksheet. If you are interested in that you can check out the beauty school series. We currently have the doors closed but they will be opening again soon so if you're following me on Instagram just make sure that you're watching closely because I will be announcing the next date soon but the the Beauty School series is a 10 part series and it goes over everything that your co-stylist or assistant will need to know to be trained and we also include that seven page worksheet so that you guys can have them go through the program to be trained, watch the videos, and then you also get to do a Zoom call with Stu and I where you get to learn all of the techniques we talk about with training assistants. You can ask us any questions, um, education or hair related or whatever you want. So keep an eye out. We had a very first um, or a very successful first launch and it was amazing so it will be coming back soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little something about assisting or co-styling. Make sure to listen to the podcast we did because we go more in depth about this and then check out the beauty school series because that is a great tool for training and even just refreshing your own career. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time.